Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we made it here to the Guajar Lagoon, and we also got some sweet massages. But we got better than what we asked for because we learned some new uh, bros hand techniques, which are going to be used a lot in this area. So let's go ahead in this episode and continue on exploring the Guajar Lagoon and seeing if we can get even closer to that first bean star piece. Um, as I mentioned before and just a few moments ago, we're going to be using a lot of hand techniques here, and I'm talking a lot. It's kind of insane how much the game really pushes these, at least in this area. After that, they're really few and far in between for the rest of the game, but here it's just insane. They're everywhere in this area. But, I mean, if whatever guess is using some new stuff, I guess it really can't complain. Not to mention, we did get some uh, hand techniques in battle for the bros, and it's they're okay. I don't see myself using them as much, but for the sake of the Let's Play, I will try to get them advanced. That way we don't have to worry about it so far in the later future. But anyway, if you come over here, I believe this is where the switch is, yes? So let's go ahead and use Luigi, use his technique, kind of swirl around, hit the switch, and we're going to create a path for ourselves. And all this is to create a path up here in this crossroads, kind of. And that is going to be where we're going to need to go to get the first Beanstar piece. So it's all leading up to some big thing, don't you worry. I believe we were just here. Yeah, this is the... Oh, I guess I don't know where this is. Well, what I do want, though, is this bean, even though I don't really need these beans anymore. There's more than enough beans. What is here? Have we already been here? Am I dumb? Uh, I am going backwards, and I don't want to go backwards. Good lord. Well, so much for that. I feel like I'm just getting completely sidetracked. And, I mean, it happens. I always get lost in some way or another. I believe we already did this puzzle up here, didn't we not? We did, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. So, well, I need to get my bearings straight. I believe if we head to the left here is where we're going to want to go even further. And, hooray! Oh boy, we have some new enemies, so it's not like I can cut out this fight. These are the Boomerang Bros. Kind of looking a little bit different since, you know, we've seen them before. But they actually look kind of funny in this game. And I completely was not paying attention there. Um, so I don't know if I've shown off Fire Bros yet. I might have done it briefly, but this is why I don't really use Fire Bros. I mean, yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage with each one. But if you add them up and just keep doing this over and over, you're going to rack up some sweet damage. Until they eventually go down. It just takes forever to execute, and you could spend at least maybe 30, 45 seconds to a minute just on this attack alone, and it's kind of... I'm a little impatient for my own liking, so... I don't know. I, I don't really find myself using the attack all that often. Oh, and the, uh, the Boomerang Bros do some crazy attacks here, as you see. It's pretty neato, if you ask me. Uh, but we will take care of these guys, and 11 damage with poison! Luigi, what is going on, my guy? He might die here, actually, from the poison. Yikes. So I'm guessing depending on which eye does its thing, is where, you know, the thing. Is it a random amount of damage each turn? I thought it was a set amount of damage. But I guess I was wrong. But nice, <laughs> we defeated them, and Luigi needs to be healed up really badly. We have plenty of mushrooms. I don't even think I... B bruh. We will also be learning that these fights take forever to go through now because we're getting to a point in the game where there's a ton of enemies around and it's kind of insane like what we're going to be dealing with. Uh, so for the sake of time, I'm going to try to avoid the enemies as best as I can because I really just don't want to deal with them. <laughs> and also I feel like we're kind of over leveled as it is so I really don't want to be fighting more than what I absolutely need to to get through, you know what I'm saying? And Luigi, come on, sir, come on, get this bean, even I don't need it anymore. What you're going to want to do, I believe, you're going to want to come down this way. Uh, and you want to go this way because there's going to be this area here that's kind of by itself, but I believe there are some hidden blocks here. If I can... Okay, there's one. There's actually three. Uh, there's one here, and there might be one here. Uh, Mara Luigi, my guy. There is one here, isn't there? Uh, there is... Oh, wait. Is it right here? Okay, it was right there. So, these are all who beans, and if I'm correct, that might lead us to the 25 that we need for the final thing. Oh, uh, 24! We're so close, dude! We are the closest I think I've ever been 
to getting this final Who Beans thing. And it's kind of cool that we're almost done. It's, it's awesome. Alright, so avoiding even more enemies, because I do not want to deal with them anymore. No thanks. They take forever to fight. They're strong. They're nasty creatures. So uh, we're just going to keep going in hopes that we can avoid the enemies as much as we can. And again, I will show off new enemies when we see them, but I'll probably be fighting them once or twice unless I have to, you know, fight things. So, using Luigi's technique again, push this switch to activate the next thing. And I'm thinking that there's one more left until we have to do what we gotta do. So we are just moving right along here. So here's the crosswalk, kind of a reference to. We haven't gone to the right yet, so we're gonna have to do that now. And I believe if we head all the way to the right here, this is our final who bean to getting the final drink to getting that prize that I've never gotten in this game before. And that's super fantastic to me. It's so cool. Uh, I don't know. It just kind of melts my heart a little bit knowing that I've never done this. And I'm finally going to do it for the first time in my whole life. I don't know. It's just something about that is really exciting. And once again, push the thing, get the things, and everything is good in the world. And is that the last one? Or is there more to get? Because there's still a path up here. Oh yeah, there is more. Or do we go this way to... No, that's not possible. Hold on. I'm confused. Let's see what's over here. And please... I think it was too early. Yeah, there we go. We have done this. Haven't we? Well, I am really losing my track of thought right now, guys. Oh. Because I messed up. That's why. That is back at the beginning. I just went the wrong way. And it caused me to get stuck. Well, not stuck, but you know what I mean. Cool. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so now we have to... Okay, it didn't take that long to get back here, but I believe now we can go all the way up here. Sure enough. So before we continue on through, let's... I think we're good, actually. Alright, let's go in. And there's the Beanstar piece we've been sorting after. How's that feel, Hermie? Like the look of it? Oh, I get a good feel from that. Yes, I do. Huh? Who are you? Have you come to help me decorate who? Why, red clothes and a mustache? Why, that even that means... Could you be... Santa Claus? <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Hermie, what is it? Oh, wow, on closer inspection, I see you have red clothes and a shiny mustache. Could you be... Wow, that jump pal, that is true, it's true. You're Mario of the Mushroom Kingdom, Stupendular! Mario of the Mushroom Kingdom is here. Party on, this is no time to be decorating. Uh-oh. Wow, it's true, it's true. Can I touch your mustache? That jump, it's glorful. Grandular! I cannot wait to brag to everyone I know. This, this rules! <laughs> and Luigi just gets no love. Oh my gosh. Ah, ooh, my decorations! Oh, he's getting jealous. Huh? Oh, you must be the president of the Mario fan club? No. Oh my god. No, wait, wait just a second. Green clothes mustache? Hey, any chance that you're the famous brother who always gets left behind? <laughs> Luigi? Oh yeah. Wow, are we lucky or what? How old are you? What's your sign? And your hat size? Okay, your waist? Favorite snack? Uh oh. <laughs> the decorating stops, and it's all because of you. If you want to cause trouble, then you're stupid. Meet Hermie the Third. And yes, that is his name, Hermie the Third. So, what you're gonna wanna do, I believe you wanna go for him. He doesn't really take that much damage, but he does counterattack if his claws are around. So you're going to want to try to get rid of those as much as possible. Yep, 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 yep. How furiating. It's time to see this up. And he increases his attack. So he could be dangerous. But he's not all that dangerous. And, okay. So what you're going to want to do 
This is a really nice tactic that I like to use in this fight because this fight gave me a lot of problems. Thunder Bros is fantastic because he is weak to Thunder, but I believe this will, if he lowers his defense, it's going to do some big boy damage. Also, the enemies are trying to get in the way and it's kind of scary. And, alright, we did get the lower defense, so now we can do some big boy damage on Hermie here. Uh, hope we don't get the one-hit kill on him. But, uh, he is pretty strong. And this fight could take a while if you're not careful. But, you know, I say that and then I'm always insta-killing enemies, so maybe the Thunder Bros wasn't such a good idea. But we'll see what happens. Just for the sake of the argument, I'm not going to use the advanced knockback bros, because it is kind of busted, to be honest. Let's just see what he can do. So he's going to do the claw attack. I thought he had another attack, but I guess we'll see what happens. And wow, he is just... If you get hit by him, just good luck, because you're going to take some big damage. Okay, you can... Uh, I think he's only counterattacking because, it's, again, his claws are still around. So let's go ahead and try to... Oh. I think that means he's immune and you can't even hurt him. Uh, Sir, you want to come out? What does Chopper Bros even do? Does he even hit the shell for damage? I don't even think it does anything. Oh, he heals himself. I actually don't think I've seen this attack before. It's actually kind of funny. And yeah, that doesn't do anything either. Wow, so I guess he's immune completely and you really can't touch him. Can you come out? Okay, now you want to come out. Nice. Um, I could try getting rid of the claws. Again, I've never actually done that before. Or no, no, that's, that's dumb. I have. Don't worry. Wow! Okay, and when he puts a bandage on his claw, that's how you know you've done the damage that you need to get rid of the claws for now. So we'll do it to this one too. And that way he can't counterattack. And bruh. Okay, I do know the fight takes this long. At least if you're... I'm just trying to show off the attacks more, because I really don't like insta-killing bosses, or at least getting them the chance to show off what they can do, because it is kind of silly, honestly. So when he's done being dumb, I can go ahead and actually, you know, do some damage. Can you please just get out? Get out of your shell, my dude. Stop healing. And, oh, okay, this is the attack I wanted to show off, because it is kind of neat. Alright. Enough playing around. We're just going to do some big damage now. To see what we can do against him. I love knockback bros. I love it. It's so good. Yeah, here comes your counterattack. You can stop that anytime you want to. It's fine. And now we're going to do the chopper bros. I don't know why I love doing the advanced chopper bros as well. It's so good. It's so much fun. And you're gonna be gone soon? No? Wow, okay. This could take a second then. Holy cow, maybe one more turn, perhaps? Oh my goodness gracious, guy! I've never even seen this attack before in the game, and yet he's doing it, like, constantly. Ugh. Here. I don't know if this does anything. <laughs> Probably not. And he takes, like, two turns, bruh. Come on! All right, come on, get out of your shell. Dude! Get out of here so I can hit you for damage. Why? <laughs> get out! Get out of the shell, bruh! Please! Just get out. Jeez, he's just gonna keep healing forever? Like, that's insane. All right, come on. Let's do some damage. I probably should be doing the advanced technique for the, uh, or I'm sorry, the Thunder Bros. So we can lower his defense and then just do the damage because this is not working. Because he's every turn he's just gonna keep counterattacking. This is, I mean, I can't say for certainty this fight took me this long, but jeez. All right, let's do this again. There we go. There we go. Jeez, that took a hot minute. Probably one of the challenge, probably the most challenging fight we've had in the game up to this point, to be honest. Uh, let's get the plus. Eh, that's average, especially for the, you know, options we had for the numbers on the tree here. Uh, Luigi, come on, give yourself a good thing. Plus four, good. Very nice. Jeez. Please excuse Hermie. He's a little kooky. 
Gee, I'm sorry, fellas. I guess we were in the wrong. Anywho, I'm sure you two must have had some reason for coming here. Yes, we did. Huh? The bean thing on the shell? Well, whoop de doo what's so important about that thing? Oh, yeah. Wow, did you hear that, Hermie? Uh, if that's so, then I suppose I had no choice. Oh, he's so sad. Oh, yeah. But with that, we got a bean star piece, y'all. You got a bean star piece, thank you. Only three more to go. And after that greatest day, so well, too. But we tried so hard. What? You're leaving already? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't see why you can't stay and relax personally. Superstars are busy people, I'm sure. Yeah, they are. If you're going back, this way should be a shortcut. Alrighty. Well, we got our first Bean Star piece, guys. We have really made the rounds. And I don't even want to bother. Whoa, dude. <laughs> wow, that's the first time I've done that in the hot minute. They even tried to press the button there. I try to, I subconsciously avoid even going near that button now, just because of how many times we've seen it happen. But luckily for us, we activated the teleporter, which can get us out of here in an instant, so that's very nice. Uh, yeah, it's right here. So, we're going to be heading back to the castle town, considering, you know, we can do that. And next time on Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, if we take a look, yeah, if we take a look at the map here, we got access to even more Bean Star pieces that we're going to be going for. Some easier than others, but I think the next one I like to go for now is through the Chuckle Huck Woods, which we saw in the bottom left-hand corner, and we'll go after that one next time because that's exciting to me. And getting a Bean Star piece is always nice. With that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. I will see you guys then.